from the Rivers property in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is Poker Night in America. From Rivers in Pittsburgh, this is Poker Night in America. I'm Chris Hansen alongside Joe Stapleton, who has spent more money, seriously, on lotto tickets than he has poker buy-ins. Yes, but that's because I started off my TV career doing scratch-off commentary. But, Joe, it's just so minus EV. So are a lot of things, Chris. Movie theater candy, massage Groupons, having children, the Big Bang Theory, I could go on. Okay, okay point taken. Sheesh. Feel like we should look at the chip counts or something, but pretty much all you need to know is that Kyle Bowker is on the show tonight, and that means he wins and everyone else loses. That's true. Uh, oh. Kyle Bowker started off the night uh, just with a $23,000 profit, no big deal. Welcome Sam Gansfried back to the table. He's played with us before here on Poker Night in America. And anyone want to grab the five seat? Seat's open. Oh, yeah. You know I like my chicken Gansfried. Cold beer on a Friday night. There, okay. Hey Steve, so what are the blinds? 25 and 50 with an optional $100 straddle, which is a blind raise you put in before the flop that buys you pre-flop position. I knew you knew the answer. Cal is straddling this hand. Fives. No, I mean. For Amicus? play with the right people, it's sick. I would imagine quite good at it. You know what kind of games I hate playing? All the players are better than me. Which is pretty much every game I was gonna say, where do you find a game? I play with my kids, mainly. It's like child abuse. No, they actually still, they still win. Like, like, <laughs> it's pretty sad. Gans like, Fried gets involved. He's got ace, queen of hearts versus the fives. And look at that set of fives versus top pair. Start up your chip stacks, kids. How'd you not get in, like? Hello, Sam Gansfried. Goodbye, you know Sam Gansfried. <laughs> top pair, top picker against no? bottom set. You you smell you later. 450 the bet from Imicus. Who places 450 into never the middle? That you, like, never played, uh, what a like, sweet a feeling when you have a set and get called. Yeah, yeah like you play, Let's see what happens on the turn. Oh, more bad news for Gansfried. Or great news for Imicus. Hey, Hanson. Imicus. That's what I'm saying. No. You know I hate bearded yeah. guys. <laughs> Happening, but All right, so two pair for Gansfried. Uh, Imicus has the set of fives. Is two pair enough for Gansfried to get it all in here? Yep, probably. He's a very tight player, and I say that with everything due respect, but he is, he's tight. Oh, that's good to know. He's facing a bet here of 1,075. You know what Einstein said? Everything is relative, including my wife. He married his cousin. Didn't he like check call you blind or something? So there's a call. I bet all, yeah. He bet. Unless an ace or a queen hits, Gans Fried is about to get Gans burned. Oh, sorry, he bet 600. I Boat now for Imicus on the river. Wonder if the board pairing is also going to scare him oh, just a little bit snap. with ace queen. A little bit? Broadway. A little bit? I don't think so. He does check. A little bit? Ace queen is just going to be the best hand here so often. $3,400. What a tough spot. This is a tougher spot than being asked, does this make me look fat? I, mean, I think you're right, Chris. I think the nine maybe helps him make this fold, but man, I do not envy this position at all. Gansfried is just beating himself up here. I mean, he's trying to come up with a way to call. Okay, call. And he does call. It's the wrong decision, though. And if you thought he was a tight player before, my guess is he will not be playing another hand for the rest of the night. Straddles on and so is the soup. Poker Night in America brought to you by Beef Barley. You should have made a better offer, Split P. Quick, favorite soup. Cream of broccoli. Look at me, beer cheese. Obviously. Mm. 850. Cream of broccoli. Deeb and Brunson, only two players who want to participate in this particular hand. I like the three bet against the guy who opens a lot, especially when the straddle's on. Both players get their jack. Sam. Deeb is out kicked. This could be the worst thing to happen to Sean Deeb since direct sunlight. Don't see Sean doing much here other than just calling. Maybe can I get involved? This is the worst thing to happen to Sean Deeb since stairs. Oh man, you're alone on that one. Cardio. Is there a here for five Omaha? Not a great card for either player. 
Guess it's a slightly better card for Sean because he picks up a draw. And it's a scare card for him. So they both check. So here comes the river. <laughs> Unreal oh. how good Sean Deeb runs on Poker Night in America. That's the best thing to happen to Sean since the elevator. <laughs> All right, good follow-up. Did I, did, I, did, I did, I do, did I do good? You did real good, Chris. Thanks. He's still going to kill me later, but that's beside the point. Still, this isn't a great board for Todd, so there's a good chance Sean won't get too much more out of him. Sean is tricky, though. If there's a way for him to squeeze more money out of Todd, Sean will figure it out. That's 1850. Saw Todd fold top pair incorrectly before, so he's playing a little on the tight side today. Todd may end up leveling himself into thinking Sean would bet all of his busted draws. Just that a lot of draws got there. Exactly, yeah, the spades got there, the straights got there. Just Todd has the nut spade blocker, so he can, in fact, make this move. <sighs> so stupid, I should just check this river and I know it. <sighs> so frustrating. Yeah, when did Sean get a Nerf sponsorship deal? <laughs> Very lucrative. I think his body might be made of Nerf. I wonder if Todd really thinks he can get Sean to fold the straighter if he's just playing the odds that he won't always be that strong. With the ace of spades in Todd's hand, he can effectively rep the nut flush. Sean just has to figure out how often Todd is bluffing here, and honestly, I don't think it's that often. It really does have that smell of, I know you have it, but I've got something much bigger and I want you to pay for it. Really has that smell right now. It's an incredibly well-timed bluff. Deeb lets the straight go, and a smile, look at that. Shut he ate a hearts. There you go. He has no eight of hearts to show. Him, his, he wants a slow roll, but I made a good fold. You made a good fold? Huh? There it is. Did I? Oh, wow. Well, there was Todd Brunson's one bluff of the year. He had an ace of spades blocker. You know, shut up, Joe. I'm so sick of hearing about people talk about blockers. I mean, it is the most inane thing to hear people talk about. Fine, we'll just talk about Bitcoin. Okay, tell me more about blockers. It just was stupid so for Queen to four bet light the first time. I just think he had ace four and was like, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think he would have done it with like king five suit. Welcome back to Poker Night in America and look who's back. I knew he couldn't stay away for long. It's Dave Eldridge, legendary in the Pittsburgh Rivers poker room and poker rooms all across the country for that matter. Straddles on and it's Kyle Bowker, so let's all just fold to him and get to the next hand. That was a Did you add this hand, Kane, or was it for next hand? Um, I don't. I gave him the money. I I don't. Whatever, we'll just say it's just not playing. Just make it rolling, it doesn't matter. We it don't, it no doesn't play this hand, okay. I would say that Ted's not in play. Okay. okay. Ted, harsh but fair. Wait, so it is or it isn't? He's not. Oh. Yeah, was was the smartest of the triplets. <laughs> I hope he doesn't cost anyone like, money here because that would be terrible. 25% every hand. I think Dave Eldridge is gonna cost himself some money perfectly fine all on his own. So Callis made a 1400 with his kings. Original razor Dave Eldridge on the decision. And it looks like I mean, 1,400 is not enough for him. He makes it 3,100. Eldridge either not a believer of Kane Callis or 10-8 is his lucky hand. Callis calls in position. Everyone quick, look at your cards. Would you ever All right. Under wraps his hand a little bit by just calling. I agree it wasn't his greatest hand. But I'm talking about what I watched on TV, he just. 6,300 into the middle, here's the flop. King, 6-6, six, six. flopping boats and feeling good. Clear minds, full house, oh, can't lose. What's his name? So, kind of bad news, though, is that Eldridge got nothing. Like, nothing. Country, he is drawing dead, and this is the exact kind of board he should keep telling his old bluff story on. What was the logic? The, the dude that played chess. And I think the move here is for Callus to smooth call. It's really hard for Dave to have a hand he can call a raise with. Like, he was, he was from you guys. And there is he the call. He was the best student I could ever ask for. Like, yeah, like, I know. think he's good. I think that's like... He, he yeah, tried so that, hard. Like, 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 that month, the work we did. He doesn't have a big enough ego to where he thinks that he's better than you guys or whatever. He, like, will take the... Here comes the turn. I told him, like... Like, I will, he was more work than I thought he would be, but he was the hardest working student. Like, he was up to 2, 3 in the morning every day with us in between days, like, studying, going over ideas, like, you know, right. discussing strategies, reviewing tape. Like, right. it was, he worked so hard, and, right. you know, and he had it's good. Looks to go like Eldridge yeah. might be giving up. His wife was awesome. She gave him all the free time to, like, work. I like a check and back here from Callis. So many hands See, are going to fold to a bet. And, you know, I think he improved a lot. And just exactly what he does, so we will see a river. It's a good, uh... 
Ah, uh, that is not a good river for Dave Eldridge. He's got a full house now. Thank you very much. I know, I was just thinking, like, what's his wife gonna say no? Yeah, like, I mean, he's going for eight million. Yeah, no, right. you, know, I mean, you need to come home for dinner. Well, yeah, yeah. But, like, you know, I don't know how much that would affect their lives if, they want, if he won or got nice, you know? No, I mean, he has a lot of money or whatever, yeah. but still. It's still, like, the biggest it's not just the money. spot of his life, yeah. Nobody oh, I was ever, very nobody worried. Ever gets into I it. was very worried that he was going to totally ignore ICM. We'd actually. He did probably it. can't value bet and get called by worse, but he so might so call a river bet from Callus. Yeah, if Kane comes in at like the forty-five hundred dollar mark, he, he might get called. He, he See what really size he makes it. Three thousand two hundred. Pretty small. Yeah, but he made a couple of, like. With the way Callus has played this hand, I think, I think that he's very rarely going to have a hand that an eight is beating in this spot. Hey, if he I see him punted, I do that every final table. And Eldridge agree is good fold. Yeah, I would. I would would you have four bet if the 10K was in play? Hmm? Would you have four bet if the 10K was in play? No difference. No difference. And we've got a double straddle, double secret probation I straddle. Him, I just told him I had ace king with no diamond on that last hand when he check raised, and he believed me. <laughs> I told you he's not that smart, Dave. <laughs> Trust my reads. That was a double straddle, right? <laughs> Right, Dave? I mean, yeah, yeah, he totally believed me. No, I, wa I, I watched the last time you played here. <laughs> and I played with you before. Yeah, we played a tournament. I don't How know. much was that? 620. We played a tournament at... All right, Callus has made it 625 with fives. Okay. Probably like decent 50K. one kick. Oh, not yeah, it wasn't that big. Though. Yeah, I think I got, I got screwed. I beat uh, Ann Van Tran, or Ann Van Wynn. Ann Van Tran. Nice juicy yeah. pot Kristen, to get things light. going. That's gonna get in the back. Dan's freed with the best of it. Oh, oh not anymore. Yeah, I want to set the W coop. Top pair for Eldridge. Set of fives for Callus. Callus is gonna do his best to try to get more of that money out of Eldridge here. Five alive, somebody is about to get knived. So I can play mostly. But I think I'll check, check to Callus. Here comes 725. So, right. I could like spend the after, like the morning. Seems so dang place. affordable. Yeah. Don't do it, Gansey. Uh, there was good mix last year. Last year? Oh yeah, the 6-12 game. Do you good really fold. Played, um, my first year. Eldridge, on the other hand, he's gonna have to lose at least a little bit more. Vondovich heads up. He, he calls. I, know, I didn't really like it. So 3,400 with heads no, up play I could, I could just imagine between Dave Eldridge and Kane Callis as we head to the turn here on Poker night. night in America. Very epic night. Yeah, Vanessa was there and claimed she was blackout drunk and that she was there for like another 12 hours. <laughs> Getting blackout drunk is the closest well, a human being can like come to time people. travel. It's like you woke up in the morning and I'll you from the future came back in time to mess up your life. I called who? Thank you. Can I get a double Tito's in soda water with three limes squeezed into it? Well, if getting blackout drunk is time travel, Todd Brunson just ordered a DeLorean. Actually, you can bring me two of those, please. Pasting yourself. 1,700 the bet from Callus. Thank you. I'll have one, too. Oh, Dimitri, this hand. He fought bottom pair with no draw, no nothing. I fought middle set. Check, he bets the pot. He pot Eldridge it. trying to keep this pot controlled. Just check calling here on the flop and the turn. If Callus bets again on the river, I think Eldridge should seriously consider laying it down. He is beating check. no three streets of value hands. Like I'm gonna throw my hand away at this point. I'm gonna run it twice and he ran it once. He won it once. I won it once. First private game. You know? Yeah, I know. He took out Keith and a few other people. Chris Smith was out. And Callus goes for 33.50 on the river. In order to make this call, you have to think your opponent is an absolute maniac. Now, Kane from the WWE, he looks like a maniac. <laughs> to be honest, so does this Kane, but not that big a maniac. Wow. Dave Eldridge likes calling more than a salesman at the gym after you cashed in your free training session. Kane Cal is running hotter than that big straw man they burn at Burning Man. But unlike the people who actually go to Burning Man, he's not making a giant deal out of it. <laughs>
Another stop for Poker Night in America at Rivers in Pittsburgh meant another opportunity for tournament players to take home big cash in the 2016 Pittsburgh Poker Open. Our final five players bested a tournament field of 270 players and then battled it out in front of our cameras for their cut of the $261,000 prize pool. The first player eliminated from the final five was Edgar Kelly Jr. from Hamilton, Ohio. Fourth place went to David Surcoke from McKees Rock, Pennsylvania. Congratulations, David, on your $19,000 payday. Eli Stepnanovich III got third place. Imagine that. But no worries, bud. $25,000 in prize money should take away some of that pain. And finally, we were heads up with two Johns from Pennsylvania. After a spirited heads up battle in the end, it was Jonathan Love finishing in second place with a $39,000 payday. And that left John Culp as the last man standing, taking home the 2016 Pittsburgh Poker Open Championship and the $68,000 that went with it. Thanks again to all the players who made the 2016 Pittsburgh Poker Open a great event hope to see you again next time. The house is full. Lots of poker being played here this weekend. See where we're going to be next. Maybe right in your own backyard by going to pokernight.com. How much you want to bet? How much? You're that close? I'll bet. Does anybody want to change seats? Not me. It's freaking painful to sit between these two guys. <laughs> Can't get a drink and they're just... <laughs> You want a crossbook? You like crossbook? <laughs> I'm sorry, your dad offers your crossbooks. You know, we have to do it ourselves. Why don't you take them on any of them? Because he only wanted, like, a very... I don't nice want to argue supply. anymore. <laughs> These crossbooks. I got a crossbook, you bitch. You can't eat any lemons. Unstoppable force versus immovable object, round two. Ding. Do you count 12 seconds in your head before every decision? No matter what. Sean knows he can get value from two pair on this very wet board. This sloppy wet board, I know you kids like him sloppy. Bowker got round one between these two. Did you raise only because I said that? It's amazing he won't talk during the hand. It's just like between hands. What is it? It's 1200 call, sir. Bowker does so. Yeah, man, he can hit a straight, he can hit a flush. Maybe his king's live. That deuce, while red, is a massive brick. The turn is more boring than the middle 40 minutes of every episode of The Walking Dead. Did I tell you I broke up with The Walking Dead? It's understandable. I just couldn't take it anymore. 33.75 from Deeb. It's a great card for him to keep barreling on. Can you give me five back? Owen. Oh. I did only raise you because that <laughs> <f> speed. God. <laughs> 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 so frustrated. How good are you? <sighs> All right. Let me, I might be pricing. I do have a big draw. And there's no way Sean can fold this with all those draws out there. Is that eight of hearts? A little worse than that. Ace, deuce of hearts. Lie. Fake news. I called every time with a nut flush, so I finally check raise, and I barrel. All right. Three. Ten thousand. How much is in there? Three. Getting two to one. All right. Do I have credit if I call and lose? What do you mean? With you? Credit as far as do I have money? Give you money? I have 10,000. Okay, that'll get me. All right, call and gamble. How many else do I have? What do you have, Ace Deuce? Yeah. You're ahead. Really? <laughs> yeah. What do you have? <laughs> I don't believe wait, you. Wait, wait, you, you are, you are. Put the cards off, right, Kyle? I... Uh, do we here. have to show or not? Yeah, of oh. course you have to show. <laughs> wow. wow. I kind of hate that new rule that we make the players show because it really handcuffs Deeb in his slow rolls. Kyle catches a king, but it is not enough. How scary we can set that ace to the hearts. 
I, I knew you weren't gonna <laughs> fold. <laughs> Kinda like she would've beat Ace Deuce of Hearts. So Sean turns over Bofa. What's, what's Bofa? Bofa Deeb's nuts. As Mace once said, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Actually, uh, that was a sample from John Sebastian from his 1976 hit song, Boom! Put one on the board for Generation X. Oh yeah, you grunge kids were a real national treasure. I know you had the longest braided belt. Let's just take a look at the final results. Here's a list of who more or less stunk it up here in Pittsburgh, including Elia Lezra, who dusted off nearly 19K in one night. Despite winning some big pots at the end of the session, Sean Deeb still is down nearly 5,000. Our three profitable players were Todd Brunson, Mick Imicus, and of course, Kyle Bowker, who is really just becoming an annoying one-trick pony with all this winning. Yeah, man, learn to do something else. Next time on Poker Night in America, Seven Deuce goes off, Todd Brunson is abused, and Austin Wentling is a lovable scamp. Now, if you want more Poker Night in America, we have a new free social app you can download and have your own Poker Night with your friends. It's been updated now also to include Omaha, and one lucky player will win a seat on our show. Download that today for Apple or Android. It's totally free. Also, be sure to follow our social media accounts, including YouTube and Twitch, where you can see full episodes and live streams, plus exclusive content. For everyone here at Poker Night in America, for Joe Stapleton, I'm Chris Hansen. Thanks for watching. Steve's nuts. That is yes. not a swear. We're referring to the actual nuts in poker. The having of the nuts. Yeah. Right. Got it. Okay. Poker Night in America is brought to you by Kimosabi Mezcal and Sit and Go 2.0.